Alright, hi everyone. Um, I'm gonna be doing Barman Tower again. How far did I make it? Uh, let's see. Go back to normal and White Bomber again. Uh, we are in Terror Tower because I could not make it past a. I could not make it past the Bompire, so let's see if we can do it tonight. And I'm. Pro <laughs> okay, I shared a video before I recorded. Um, someone said I shouldn't have maxed this volume during that. Uh, be ready because after game over, I'm probably gonna play that video again. It is one of my funniest. Like, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Okay. Um, you know, before I start, can will this kill me? Okay, so that kills me. And it actually just completely game overs you. Okay. Oh no! Don't don't let me uh, one one. No, we're not going to one one. We're going to cheat and go to four one. Because I want to complete this game at some point, and I'm not good enough to do it from stage one. Oh, one second. Oh, now they're suddenly on a bottomless pit. Um. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Coward. No, I, I just haven't devoted my myself enough to this game to really be able to beat it in one go like that. But I still do recommend anyone who's a, thinks this game looks fun to try it out because it is fun. It is very fun. But I'll admit, um, I, uh, as much as I've been liking this game, I do wish it was a bit faster. This, this is a very slow pace, and you know, if you're starting, if you, if you, if, if you get game over and you have to start from another floor, like, it's kind of tedious to climb back up. I know that's the point, but I've been playing a bit of, like, fast-paced games recently, so playing a slow game like this after how many faster games I've been playing has been kind of tedious. Is it a fan game? Yes. Uh, I've been playing this game. I have a couple streams of this game up on my YouTube. Um, it's a Bomberman fan game based off Pocket Bomberman, which is a Game Boy Color Bomberman game that kind of did the spice only platformer thing. And I think it did it pretty well. It wasn't a perfect game, so the fact that someone actually made a fan game that is really good based off that formula. It's a roguelike too. So I made a fan game based off that formula and made it even better. I commend that because I like Pocket Bomberman a lot. I think it's very underrated. And uh, it's one of those times where Bomberman like, tried something new without being the same exact thing as, again as usual. It's not the same like maze gameplay. Without having to be like, it's, like Bomberman does a lot of spin-offs where it'll just, it's just not Bomberman at all. It's just like a poor, a poor man's version of a game, but with Bomberman in it, as opposed to a game that adapts the Bomberman formula into it. I think this is a great way to adapt Bomberman into a platform game. There's been a couple other times when they didn't. Oh, oh, that hurts me. Fuck. Uh, there's been a couple other times where they actually done a platforming, but they've been like Japanese-only mobile games. The Bombies community keeps the little man alive better than Konami can. Yeah. In fact, uh. They try to keep on the down low about their fan games because they don't want Konami to take it down from lesser, lesser recall. Yeah, the Barman community has been really amazing about Barman. I always I talk about this game a lot, but Power Barman is a game you should try if you love Barman. It is a fantastic Barman game. It feels this and that game feels so like just they feel like official games. They've done these games have been better than what Konami's been putting out, honestly. Oh fuck. I mean, it it was obvious that Konami just sees Barman as a cash cow. They're like, oh, that was Hudson Soft's biggest property. So we're going to use it to promote our other stuff. Okay, looks like I missed some enemies somewhere. Okay, I miss, I don't know how I missed these guys. I guess I was too excited to climb. Rather too excited about climbing. I still don't know what that ghost does. Um, I'm sure it does some bullshit. I can't believe Barman R2 is happening. I can't either. I guess they have to use that engine. They've been using that engine a lot. They use that engine, the Super Barman R engine for the online Battle Royale. And they also used it for a, a mobile game that is, plays exactly like it. Called The Amazing Barman. But I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to try playing Barman on my phone. That sounds like a disaster. So uh, this is a level I've already done where there's oil drums that make the darkness go away which is good because dark gimmicks suck I don't think anyone likes dark gimmicks in in platform games I did not notice that when the items blow up 
they get all they catch on fire. That's a that's a cute detail. Okay, so since the oh fuck, since the gimmick of this stage is to just get all the keys, I can just avoid a lot of the enemies unless I, they're in my way, which is always nice. I've said it before, but I really hate when games force you to fight. Like in Zelda games, when you're forced to unlock the door by defeating all enemies, oh, I can go through the barrels. Nice. Oh, that's because I got that power up. Wait, when you have to defeat all the enemies in the Zelda game, I think that I think it sucks because. Well, one, I hate being forced to fight, and two, Zelda combat isn't that fantastic. I feel like I'm in a minority for someone who doesn't really like fighting a lot. Oh, let's not go that way. The spider's that way. Pac-Man World 3. I, I kind of wish to stream Pac-Man World 3 so people can see how bad it is. But at the same time, that would be such a waste of time to actually stream it. It is a very boring game. <clears throat> I don't know if those oil jumps hurt me, but... Oh my god, I went into this fucking spider web. I don't want to try it. I had an old clip from Pac and World 3 that would be really good to put here, but I don't really feel like going to get it right now. Because, like I said, I have another clip I want to play whenever I get game over. That'll be fun. Let's get rid of this guy. You know, it's one of those games where it's safer to get rid of the enemies than try to pass them. I can't make it that way. I, I can't believe I haven't found another bomb power-up. That would be really nice right now, so I could lay more bombs. Because for some reason... A guy named Barman can only lay one bomb at a time until you bring up another power up for that. I've already. I'm like. I have only two health left. That sucks. As you can see, I, as as usually, as as usual, I'm doing very good in this game. I can't jump on this bomb. There we go. Uh, whenever you're playing Barman, I advise to try to lay the bombs in a way that it's gonna blow up as many possible things as you can. Like, if you see two blocks that are kind of like in your fire range in a cross kind of way, try to lay it so it hits both blocks at once. It is the most efficient way to, to blow up blocks and enemies. Got the coin? I want the coin. He's called Bomberman, not Bombser Man. <laughs> okay, good point. I remember I had a friend who got really salty whenever he played games. And he would often go on big rants about the, the he would insult the character in the game if he if he lost. And uh, when when I played Barman with him, he got so mad that he started insulting Barman and saying that Barman is so useless that he needs power ups in order to actually survive. I mean he's not wrong, but uh, it's kind of silly. Okay, so these are generators and they'll keep. Well, generating enemies until I destroy them. And it looks like I need to, to need to destroy four of them in this stage. By the way, this creepy castle look is actually based off a a, a stage in one of the Barman games. <clears throat> I think I don't, I'm not sure if this is true, but uh, every stage gimmick I think I've gone through so far I think is based off another game, like not game, but every stage theme. Is based on a different game. Not a different game, but, you know, they're from the Barman games. That friend sounds pathetic. He kind of was. It, it got bad to the point where he just refuses to play any versus multiplayer game. Because his, uh, his gamer rage was too much. I mean, good on him for avoiding the problem, I guess. But it does... I do wish that he would have just tried to work out those anger issues. But hey, I feel it. I have some bad anger issues, too, so... I can't really be one to talk. All oh, right, the bombs are affected by gravity. I'm sure he's a nice person. He's a pretty decent guy, yeah. I love clocks in old games. I think it used to make you invincible, but not in this game. Maybe I'm just thinking of Zelda, though. I'm not sure why in older games clocks are what made what stopped time and stopped enemies like that. They just do. 
Okay, these gargoyles kind of suck right now. <clears throat> Go down here. Oh, the generator's right there. Duh. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that was that was kind of spicy. That was scary. Oh, fuck. I'm not here to shit talk anyone. It's just more of like a thing I remember. Uh, if you have any kind of gamer rage, get that under control. It will be better for you and your friends in the future. I know I still have a I still have some anger issues to deal with. I said it I said it before, but I cannot stream Splatoon because Splatoon is a game that makes you rage very very hard. Oh fuck! Don't get that. That that will slow down your oh go this way. That slows your speed down, which is not something you need. Those are jelly bombs. They kind of suck, but. Whatever, I'll get anyway. I don't have that much rage when I play games. Well, either you have, either you don't take it seriously enough, or you're just not like you don't you you have it under control. And if you have it under control, well, congratulations. I just take things too seriously, really. Rage, you've been. <laughs> these jelly bombs to bounce up there. That's a cute idea. A little jelly bombs one. Jelly bombs are usually very useless, but it's a good way to use them. 444, four, four. okay. Gotta find all the keys and I get to the boss. Get rid of this gargoyle. Let's lay the bomb up here so that it actually hits the gargoyle. I think those skulls only go sideways, so that's safe. I feel like you're focused more when you're calm. It's true. <clears throat> you can't focus when you're too angry. I don't know what I just grabbed. I think I think it was a bomb kick. No, it wasn't. I hope it wasn't a powered down. Doesn't seem like it was because I'm not going any slower or anything. I love the I love the faces the enemies make whenever they get a uh, they get destroyed. Okay, I got bomb pass. I can walk through bombs. I'm not really focusing right now. I'm just like thinking about what to say next. Right, everyone else, everyone's night going fine. I, I assume it. I assume it. Oh my god. Oh shit! It's oh, oh, that is a scary enemy. Oh god. I hope everyone's night is going better than mine against that bat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, be careful of bats. Don't set off bats when you're near them. I guess. I have my rage moments sometimes, but I feel bad about it. I mean, I don't blame you. I feel guilty about it too. Like I said, you gotta get your anger issues under control if you wa actually want to play games, especially with friends. My god. Uh, I don't want that jelly bomb. But it is in the way. Let's do that. Okay, cool. I cannot believe I still haven't got a bomb up power up. Taking a little breather out of my graduation. Con uh, congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations. That's the one. Oh, I'll take this jelly bomb so I can get up there easier. That's how you use jelly bombs. Nice. Okay, so unfortunately I cannot keep most power-ups through the stages, so I get to fight the boss without any cool power-ups. Belly bomb. There's no belly bomb here. <laughs> I don't insult people online, but I get frustrated sometimes. I mean, I think we all do, really. I think if I stay down here, I should be fine. Oh, he, th he blew on my power-ups! God damn it! I don't think I deal with Gamer Rage much, but instead Gamer Shame. The knowledge I could have done better and sure how to do better. I feel that so hard. <clears throat> I saw a video about improving at games recently, and 
uh, it was talking about how stuff like, um, you want to be careful not to blame the game. You don't want to blame yourself either, because if you, like, obviously you don't want to blame the game, because, you know, it's not the game's fault that you make mistakes. But at the same time, you can't go to the, like, oh, fuck. You can't be like, oh, no, I, I, I did so bad, I can't get, I can't ever get better, because that's just a defeatist attitude, because if you can't, if you think you can't get better, you're never going to get better. That is advice I need to follow, too. I have a, a hard time with that stuff. Oh. I hope that doesn't kill me. That attack is bullshit. I could probably destroy it. Like, that's probably the point. That is a terrible place for you to be. So you're seeing one of the hardest parts of Barman is timing your bombs so that it hits the boss. Uh, I hope that doesn't kill me. <clears throat> Too low. God damn it. What's that bullshit attack gonna come out? Hey, this is one of those annoying bosses that uh you can only attack it when this cape is open. Looks like I'm almost done though, which is nice. Are there people still obsessed with stuff like Twilight? I was looking at this vampire and thinking about it. Oh, I see. That just locks you in there. Oh, that... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that is an awful attack. Well, you know what that means. Okay, let's do this again. Starting from floor 4 1 with no power ups. Fun. Well, oh, that's an annoying jump. Okay. Alright, so I messed up too much. Now I know what that attack does. How does his body just float away lifelessly like that? I don't know. Barman can't swim. But it's weird because there is a world after that where you, you're underwater throughout the entire thing. Oh, that's the gimmick of this goes. It just walks through soft blocks. So the difference between soft blocks and hard blocks in Barman, I think it should be inferred from the name, but just in case. Hard blocks you can blow you can't blow up. Soft blocks you can. Soft blocks usually have items, so you want to blow up as many soft blocks as you can. Here's your that's your barman lesson for the day. The water is two feet deep in that river. <laughs> I just can't believe how ridiculous it looks when he goes in the water like that. Boom. Nice. I don't think these coins do anything for me anymore, because, uh... You have to get them to unlock a character, but I've already unlocked her, so... I don't know. Oh my god. It was dark, so I didn't see that spider shit on me. I hope I won't pay dearly for that. The sad thing is, I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. Okay, so that... I can't find the last key. Where is it at? Oh, it's probably one of these. Yep, there it is. Oh, fire up too. I need that. No bomb though. It's funny about something about funny about the fire ups is that it is a bolt it is a very good thing if you're good at the game, it's a very bad thing. Or it's kind of a curse if you're bad at the game. Because as you've seen, it's very easy to blow yourself up in these games. And when you're new to it, you blow yourself up constantly. In fact, you're more of a danger to yourself than the enemies are. So uh when you're bad and you get a fire up, that makes your explosions bigger, and that's gonna make it easier for you to get caught in your own explosions. Okay, I can't do that. It's fine, I still got him anyway. Oh, the faces the enemies make are so good. Oh, I got this, the slowdown shoot, whatever. 
Oh, I fucked myself up. Um, I think I'm gonna restart. That, that, this is going bad. I'm restarting that. I wish there was a restart rather than go back to menu, but whatever. Alright. So we've only been going for 20 minutes. Um, I think I have enough time to, uh, I, I have enough in me to try it a couple more times. Oh, that, 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 that sneaky ghost. There we go. Something else to be, to, to, to keep in mind with this game is to try to time your bombs to the, to, to where the enemies will actually run into your explosions. Yeah, it's a tough thing to do, but when you, uh, when you, when you have experience at it, it gets a little easier. I'm trying to open them in the middle so that I can put a bomb between them and blow them both up at once. It'll cause, it'll mean, it means I have to blow up less. I have to lay less bombs, rather. And laying less bombs means less waiting for bombs to blow up. Okay, you want to be a little efficient with that? Especially if you're on a time limit. Rewind time. I uh, can't rewind because this, this is not emulated. It's a fan game. Um, it's a Java fan game, too. I was hoping it would be Game Maker because if it was, I could mod the Raven in here. And I've said before, I like playing games as the Raven. It kind of feels like a way to creatively show up, like give my streams a gimmick. Thought you were about to say you got DSP'd. Uh, no, I made sure to take care of business before turning the camera on. Has there ever been a chicken that literally lays bombs? Actually, there is a game called Bomb Chicken, which is a 2D platformer. I don't think it's like Bomberman, though. I think it's just the gimmick is like the chicken can lay bombs. And he uses it for platforming shenanigans, I think. Oh, I got another bomb. Nice. I don't know why the last run didn't give me another bomb. So that is a skull item. And that's going to give you a curse. It, it's a random what the curse is. It could be laying bombs repeatedly without your input. It could be not being able to lay bombs at all. It could have long fuses or shorter fuses. It could be no power or max power. Some of them could be nice to have. Like if you if you know how to use them, like max power or faster explosions, you can really trip people up like that. It's a really tough thing to use though. See, I stood, I stood a couple tiles away so that he would go into the bomb like that. And that time I laid a bomb to be in my path so that, you see, it, it kind of stops because it can't see me anymore. <clears throat> so bombs can be used defensively as well. Okay, so there's six enemies I left down here. I don't even remember how I missed them. Oh, I see. I was trying to get I was trying to get some more power ups. I'll be battle ready. Bomberman works good as a roguelike because you have to restart with your power ups anyway. So might as well be like you die and you have to restart to get the power ups. It makes sense. Even though, like I said before, I don't like roguelikes most of the time. I know there's good ones like Hades and the Binding of Isaac, but I just don't like the gameplay loop of roguelikes. But for this, this is a, this is an exception of the rule because it allows me to play Barman in a new way, as opposed to playing another roguelike. The Bombing of Isaac. I'm pretty sure there's bombs in that game. Someone answered the chicken that lays bombs explosions. The bomb thing, question thing, by saying that Angry Birds has that. Is that one a chicken? I guess so. I mean, it has the three little things on its head. The little crest. That's pretty funny. Watch me slip down and die instantly. I remember this controller has a little thing where like if I press diagonal, it stops moving. I need to be careful of that. And this one, I just gotta find all the keys. I don't, I don't have to defeat all the enemies. That is an annoying section down there. Let's avoid it. Oh god, this fucking coffin actually hurts me. That sucks. So as you can see, the gimmick is that coffin, when you blow it up, it releases a ton of bats that come out really fast. So you gotta be prepared for that. I'm sure the bats hurt you too. Because why wouldn't they? This level layout sucks.
There's a bomb up there so I can stand here freely. Oh my god, you're really, you're, you're really gonna go all the way over there? Are you fucking serious? I was gonna say, let's stay down there. Let's lay a bomb up there so I can easily stay down here. So I don't have to jump over the bomb. But then the it, stupid spider thing attacked from all the way over here. This is going badly again, as usual. Nothing ever goes right in this game for me. Angry Birds is over 13 years old. Thank you. I uh, never not feel old. Anyone ever play Tiny Wings? That was my shit right there. That was the that was the bird game I loved. I don't like that fact. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? I have only one health left. Fuck, I'm not gonna be this boss. Well, there's a heart right here at least, it gives me another health. Let's not run into the fire though. Alright. Well, I'm at level 4 too, I can make some more hearts at least. On the door. Okay, cool. Two thousand ten is about to be thirteen years ago. Yeah, happy new year in like two weeks. Merry Christmas. I don't even know who Mary is. I knew a girl back in California. Her name was Mary. She was a band geek and she kinda looked like SpongeBob. And she she had blonde hair and these buck teeth. And like we always thought about SpongeBob when we saw her, and she took it in stride too. So she she could take jokes. That was fun. Happy noob year. Yeah, that's pretty much how I'm playing this game, huh? Oh, this makes me think back when I was really bad at Fantasy Zone. I'm not. I mean, I'm not amazing at Fantasy Zone still, but fuck. Oh shit, that was close. Uh, that is a lot of enemies. Oh, fuck. Uh, I only have one health left now, so that's fun. Is Fantasy Zone still start your- still- Is Fantasy Zone still part of your daily prayer? Um... Ooh, fuck. Uh, I have to give big apologies to Opa Opa, because I haven't played Fantasy Zone in over a month now. I mean, I was- I'm still surprised that Scarlet and Violet ended up being as good as I liked them. Because fuck, I haven't even played Splatoon 3 much, and I've, I've put like 300, 300 hours into that game. Okay, this enemy sucks. Oh, okay, good. It goes away. Alright, so that's that's nice to know. Repent to Opa Opa. I wish I could. I wish Opa Opa was real so I can say sorry that I haven't played this game in a long time. I know I still thought about streaming Fantasy Zone at times too. I've heard, I've had people link me this tweet. Uh, let me find this real quick. Where is it at? There it is. Here's Steve behind his desk at Sega of America. His his friend is a giant size Opa Opa, the hero of Fantasy Zone. I. Steve is living is living my dream life. I wish that was me. I want that. I want that so bad. I've had so many people link me this tweet over the past week. I love it so much. It makes me happy to be the fantasy zone guy. Barman Tower, but every time you die, you have to any percent fantasy zone. Man, I would love that. I love any excuse to play fantasy zone. Really. So yeah, I need to I need to stream Darius verse at some point. Since it has Fantasy Zone DLC, and my God, is it fun! Um, somewhat harder than Fantasy Zone though, considering the fact that uh, you can't really you don't really make enough money to spam all the best weapons. 
all the time. Ooh, fuck. I hope I didn't pick up a power down. Because I just picked up an item and I don't know what it is. Okay, I love I love jelly bombs in this game now. I need to, I find out how to use them properly. Oh, okay, there's there's heart there's a heart right there. Which is good because I I desperately need a heart. Okay, there's wings, but it's not gonna carry over to the next level, so let's just get there. Uh level four three, okay, let's hope I can make another heart in this next level, because I, I need it desperately. I don't know if I need to get past Bompire, guys. I don't know if I can make it. I'm gonna be streaming this game for the rest of my life, I'm so bad at it. This is worse than that time I did one one right town to target town on one right one one right one right ticket to target town or something on Splatoon 3. Man, that was hell. I don't know if that fire's gonna hurt me. Let's just take the safe way around. The one with the giant spider there. Yeah. Let's go to the one with the giant spider. There's a lot of spiders here. Get over there. Ooh, that's bad. Got the spider though, that's good. We're turning it around. I see people talking about Jurassic World and it's like, will Jurassic Park ever go away? That franchise has been around since forever and it's just, it shows no sign of stopping. And every, every toy of it is either a T-Rex, a Raptor, or Chris Pratt. There isn't even any like decent pterodactyls everywhere. In fact, uh, I, uh, I have taught my boyfriend that dactyls are just, like, impossible to find. So guys, you'll find, you'll find a T-Rex, you'll find a raptor, sometimes you'll find a Stegosaurus, sometimes you'll find a Triceratops, but you almost never find a dactyl. You'll be lucky to see one, ever. That, that shit sucks, man. Pterodactyl's always been my favorite dinosaur. Uh, another thing, I, I don't, I don't think I was ever like a truck kid or a dinosaur kid or a cop kid. I was, I was like never like a kid kid. I was more like, I was a Nintendo kid. I played video games. I like dinosaurs. I like space. I like that stuff. I like cowboys, but I was never like a kid who centered around them. Okay. Back to Bompire. Uh, I got two hits. Let's see if I can handle it. I'm already failing. Oh, that, he gave me a mercy hit. Cool. There's that hit that sucks. I need to be ready for that next time. It's something he seems to do is never hit- he never- Fuck you. He never seems to go on the bottom tile, which is- God damn it! Which is nice to know, at least. I'm always safe down here. Bompire? Yeah, it's Bompire. Uh, these little- these silly bat enemies he turns into are actually enemies from one of the games. Which is pretty- it was a funny and cute detail. Please blow up. That didn't even do damage to him, that did it. I didn't even see. Stop doing that. Okay, that's a lava. I don't know if it's gonna kill me. I sure fucking hope not. I missed him! Oh, and then he stunned me when I jumped and the momentum carried me into him. Oh my god, this boss sucks. <sighs> well, time to try again. I'm gonna give it one more shot tonight. If I can't do it tonight, I, if I can't beat him this time, I think I should just quit and try again the next time. I had a what moment?
Okay, I need to find the generators. Where the fuck are they? I have no power-ups and this place is swarming at enemies. This sucks. Don't hit me. Oh fuck. A person compared to me one of my nerdy characters, I want you to know that I'm always saying oh god, oh, oh geez, all the time. It's like a catchphrase. So my catchphrase is oh my god. I say oh my god to everything. Okay, oh it's nice that those enemies disappear after a while. That way I don't have to worry about them too much. There is uh, some items down here. Let me blow these up. Maybe they'll get me some good items. Well, RNG because RNG is one of the reasons I don't like this uh, like roguelikes too much. Uh, I heard you say Gon Gaga. <laughs> Me, Gon Gaga. And when he said the line in the remake, I clapped. Also, why does that remake look like an upscaled PS the PSP game? I thought they were like remaking it. It looks more like it's upscaled. And just fuck Final Fantasy, god damn. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get hit for sure. At this point, I have way more respect for Pokemon than Final Fantasy. God damn. What is that skeleton man doing? What is he hiding? His bomb pass. I am terrible at timing things. Okay, second try. Fine. Everyone who's asking about that raptor plushie that someone just posted in the uh, chat. Uh, that is, um, let's just say you don't want, you don't want to know the price of that thing. You really don't. Alright, next. Oh, hold on. Okay. I need to find the keys, alright. Uh, no, your soul is not enough for that plushie, trust me. I have no strong opinions on the Gungaga game remake, but I'm definitely excited to see Pl Vinny play it again. I am... I wonder if I should watch that. Like, Final Fantasy pisses me off so much these days, but like, I really enjoyed watching Vinny stream of it, and I want to... See I want to see how much I, I... I'm wondering how much it's going to piss me off. It, the remake of Sevens already pissed me off quite a bit. And I never liked Crisis Core, so... Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, that sucks. That sucks almost as much as Crisis Core does. I hate that game. Crisis Core is the funniest game of all time. Oh god. That's a game I could rant about for a while. And it's not even about the gameplay, it's all it's purely about the- well, the gameplay sucks too. Crisis Core is the best Final Fantasy of all time and I remember nothing about it. It deserves to be forgotten. Of course, people who aren't actually fans of Final Fantasy VII will love it. This is Crisis Core, your evil twin YouTuber game. Uh, I have a lot of uh, games that can be considered my evil YouTuber twin game. Uh, Final 
A lot of the newer Final Fantasies are up there though. I need to play Final Fantasy 13 already. I I suffered through Final Fantasy 10 and Final Fantasy 12 this year because I want I really want to get through the entire series of mainline games anyway. I don't care about 14. I think it will suck, but uh, I I need to play through 12 or 13 so I can complete like the terrible the terrible games. I'm never gonna play 15 or 16 though. The Crisis Core is Genesis, isn't it? He's the best. I guess at this point, Genesis is gonna be completely canon. Then that makes me cringe very hard. You know what else has Genesis in it? The Bible. <laughs> that is a less cringy Genesis. Oh right, it goes through walls. Uh, bomb kick. I'm not gonna really use it, but why not? I said this last time, but this bomb kick is actually a reference to Bomberman 64, the second attack. It has a, uh, it has wind bombs that, they like you. Those are like Stalfos. Okay, but uh, the the uh, the wind bombs in Bomberman 64, when they blow up, they they kind of like shoot off things like that. Oh, oh no, don't blow that up. I have remote bombs now, which is nice. That means I can blow up bombs by pressing a button. Which means I don't have to waste, wait for them to blow up. Oh my god, I wasn't looking at the spider. Now I have one hit left. Fuck, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Yeah, these spiders are actually the worst. Genesis, but instead of obnoxiously quoting poetry, for no reason he recites the Bible instead. <laughs> what can you say? This man loves his fiction. Okay, might be a little cringe, but I do feel a little bad saying is that since I've, I've grown up as a Christian. I'm not gonna say like, I'm a, I'm a church man, but man. Some of it sticks with me. I'm not gonna preach about it though, so. Redditor moment. <laughs> you know, I've been on Reddit a lot. I haven't like participated on Reddit, but man, when you have, when you type how to do thing Reddit, I feel like I get better hits than just typing how to do the thing and reading an article that someone doesn't deserve the clicks for. Um, I don't know if Reddit really is that bad. Maybe I haven't found like the bad ones, but I appreciate the fact that Reddit has like set communities for things. I find it much more tolerable than Twitter. Like whenever I'm, whenever I'm like, I'm gonna say like, how, how to cook an egg sandwich. No, no, I'm gonna do a better one. Uh, which, which draw, which drawing tablet should I get? I'll type, which drawing tablet should I get? Reddit. And I get a multitude of opinions from actual people, and not just someone paid to write an article. And you know, by the end of the day, what I really crave is discussion. Because discussion like that is very important for figuring out things like that. Yeah, lay Reddit. Okay. Oh, I have four bombs, that's nice. Now I need more fire. Uh, I need to find the keys, okay. I'm hoping I can get another heart before this level's over too. Why does that go so far? My god. That is so unfair. If I can get another heart before the, ne the next boss, I'm probably better. Have you ever seen DMU the fix? Yeah. Um, I haven't actually seen it on Reddit before though. I know Red is like the, the the Rick and Morty lovers uh, stuff, but I mean, I, w I would rather be on Reddit these days than Twitter. But again, I don't, I haven't like been to the communities that have like bad Reddit stuff. I just stick to looking at stuff from from things I actually care about. Oh, 
Oh god. Okay, cool. Our Wall Street bets is that the bad one? I don't care about politics or stocks or whatever, so I don't I don't do that. I, I mostly just like look through gaming stuff. Like Dragon Quest. I've been really enjoying Dragon Quest Treasures, so I look for uh, stuff pertaining to that. More so people say it's a hive mind, so there's only one opinion on stuff because all the other ones are downvoted. Uh, to be fair, I've seen a lot. I've seen less of a hive mind on, on Reddit than I have on Twitter. I have seen a variety of opinions, at least on the games I care about. Like, again, maybe is it because I'm not in, like the popular... I'm not, I'm not in the communities that have the uh, so-called Reddit cucks on it. Okay, let's... There's key. Is there any... Is there any hearts? That's what I need. Another key though. You're you're gonna find a lot more reliable info on Reddit than than you are on Twitter or Tumblr. Yeah, because again, I think the thing is Reddit has dedicated communities for stuff, so you can easily find what you're looking for. At, meanwhile, stuff like Twitter, like you can't really search shit on there, especially when people don't tag things or use certain words. Tumblr, um. That's kind of a dead site these days, right? I know Tumblr's search function really sucks. I'm gonna hear this theme music in my sleep. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we, I have two hits, so let's see if I can do this. I need to play this extra carefully. That's what I need to do. I don't know if I can escape that. I probably have to blow it up or something. Good luck, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tumblr's great, but it's broken. Yeah, if you ever, like, if you ever search something on my, like, let's say you're, uh, you're enjoying a character of mine, and, like, you you want to search up more art of that particular character in my blog, you're just, like, good fucking luck. Okay, cool, you can, you can't avoid that. Okay, I have a lot of bombs, so... I don't know if those sound bites actually hurt. Okay, so he doesn't seem to take damage from that, unless I didn't see it right. Those bombs weren't even set in a good place. So not a six six broken search on mine. I have no idea either. Honestly, what you do is uh, what you really need to do is like, post. What hit me? What the fuck hit me? Did a bat hit me? Are you kidding? Fuck. Ah, man, let's try one more time. I haven't hit an hour yet. I'm too bad at this game, guys. Oh, I got to keep some of my power-ups, though, so there's that. Bat scrape you with their claw, with its claw, and you got Corona. <laughs> I think it's okay at this point to make COVID jokes, right? I've never got it myself. Oh great, that enemy fell onto the heart, and now I can't get it. And I blew up the heart. God damn it! Game's honestly making me pretty salty. Whatever, once I pass this boss, it should be getting better. This this layout sucks. Okay. I wonder if I'm just bad or if this, this is just badly designed. I'm at that point where you like get so salty at the game, you have to wonder how much of it is your fault. You know, what I, you know what I mean? You know those times? Uh, to the guy who says that the Tumblr thing is based on personal settings, no, it really, the search function really is just broken. Because when I go on my blog, I need to type my blog name 
then forward slash tagged, and then type in the tag itself. The search just... One day it just stopped working in general. Like, if you want to look for Jack or something, you have to, like, type... You have to type my blog name, then tag, then Jack. You, my blog name dot com forward slash... Or my blog name dot tumblr dot com forward slash tag forward slash Jack. And it's really stupid. It's even worse that it, you can't search tags on the Tumblr app. The tags only work for me if I'm on on the site itself. So if you like want to do want to do a quick search on your Tumblr app on your phone, forget it. I don't know if it's Yahoo doing that or what. The sad part the sad part is I love I actually love Tumblr's site. I think it was a great like it, it was better it was like Twitter but better. If I remember correctly, I had this big glitch where I needed to reset my blog back to its default layout and settings, but I don't remember how anymore. Uh, I know they have that. They had a they had an old blog theme called Redux, and it's not selectable anymore. But if you had Redux as your default blog theme, uh, you could still have. It. I know I still have Redux as my theme. I don't know how to get it back though. It sucks. It works with pressing a tag on art post, but not in the search bar. Yeah. That's why I said you need to type in the URL to put the tag and then put a put the tag and then you know the thing you're looking for because that's the only way I've gotten it to work. Redux is like the best Tumblr, uh, the best Tumblr theme, bar none. Everyone, like I've seen people with other themes that are like it's like being a MySpace again. Fuck. I thought I had jelly bombs. I guess that was on the last level. I can't make myself change it from Redux. It's like an endangered species at this point. Yeah, it's true. If you make a new blog, look at the look at the newer uh, newer options you get for default theme. They all suck. So our computer with Tumblr Redux on it. <laughs> if only it was that easy. It's on the site, not on computers. That's probably a joke though, so... And the thing is, I can't... One thing I can't take about jokes is I have to take treat it seriously, because like, if it's a serious question, I don't want to leave someone in the dark. I'm no app developer, but can it really be that hard to keep things actually good? Fuck! Fuck, why did I do that? God damn it. Is the game failing me, or am I failing the game? Thank god that stupid ghost doesn't attack me. I'm mad at the ghost for existing now. It looks like the, it's not even the worst enemy on the stage. Not even close. It's even worse if they ask us a stupid question, you'd be insulting them if you laugh at it. I guess so, yeah. I'd hope that if I say something, people will know if I'm joking or not. Though I've heard people say it's hard to tell if I'm serious or not. I try to be as obvious as possible. I think I'm a very predictable person. It's an effort to make stuff new and people interested. Like, look out Twitter, add a stupid feature every other month. Yeah. It's because everything's trying to be like Facebook. It's unfortunate, but it happens. <sighs> Alright. Uh, defeat all enemies is my least favorite. There are so many enemies. And it gets so tedious. I want you to know I still love this game. But my god. Fuck this. Okay, so show of hands, how many of you have, have watched that Barman Journey video? That eight and a half hour, hour long documentary about all the Barman games. 
Because if you haven't done it, I say go for it. I'll close off the stream if you want. I say it's worth watching. Mario Maker design moment. Uh, do you know what's funny? It's, it's not even... It's not even that fault. It's a procedural generation. The procedures you generate are not... You're not gonna... You're gonna get this kind of level design no matter what. I watched it with my boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks, boyfriend, for responding that, like that. I wonder how many people knew Bomberman before they met me. I know I sure as fuck have not... I haven't really met anyone who's been super into Bomberman like I have before I joined that Bomberman, uh... That Power Bomberman Discord. Uh, I want that. Oh fuck, don't, don't run into a fucking spider again. I'm not gonna say this game controls bad. I, I just controlled it badly right there. I feel so un unincentivized to get the power up because they just don't carry between levels. And that sucks. Like one one of the joys of Barman, it has that like arcade game feel where like you get a power up and as long as you live with it, you're gonna keep it. Like you, you've ever played a shmup and you just like had an ultra powerful beam and like you go through so many levels with it because like you're good enough to stay alive. You could just play on easy. Yeah, I guess I can. All my power problems would melt away if I did that. I probably should do that. I'm wasting everyone's time. <laughs> okay, if I die again, I'll do it on easy. If only there's a rogue and not a light. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I could not avoid that damage. Someone will review the footage and say, you could have done this thing, moron. And it's not going to count unless you say moron, too. Uh, have any, has anyone here tried this game out ever since I started streaming it? Curious. Joke's on you, Ray. I played Generations and really like enough to blindly get Barman Land on the Wii as a kid. I am so sorry for your loss of time. That is one of the worst games I've ever played. I remember getting Barman Land when I was a teenager. And I actually kind of liked it. But then I played it again, like last year, and oh my god, it is awful. It is, it is so mind-numbingly awful. It is so infuriating. Oh my god, the fucking spider. It just attacks from all the way across the world, and I just don't- I'm not paying attention to it, I'm looking somewhere else. I bet everyone saw that come, is like, Ray, why aren't you moving? But nope, I just- I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Okay, thank god you can't blow up the keys. Barman Land violates the Geneva Convention. <laughs> I forget, what is the Geneva Convention? I know it's a meme. Uneth unethical experiment in sadism. It's war crimes. Farm and land for the Wii is definitely war crimes. Okay. Uh, try this. Farm and land for the Wii is one of the games that I've mentioned that was like... It's one of those games that like it has a barman skin and nothing more. It doesn't adapt any kind of barman thing to it. It has bombs sometimes, but it's really just another generic party game. Alright, we're back at Vampire. Vampire? Vampire. I think I have four hits, so let's see if I can do this. I have four hits and a lot of power-ups, so... Are Barman and Dig Dug related? Nope, not at all. <laughs> oh, I see. I walked too far to the other them. Okay. That was my mistake. A really bad one, too. My god. I don't think anyone likes bosses where you have to wait for them to expose their weak points. It sucks. Oh, 
Oof, almost got hit by that. That's something else that sucks about Bomberman, is that you can never really tell if something's gonna damage you or just stun you. Usually things that can hit you really easily will stun you, while things that will hurt you are a little easier to avoid. Like you saw that really fast red bat. It uh, it, it doesn't, it gets so hard to actually dodge that it doesn't really kill or hurt you, which is nice. That one? I should not jump when it comes up though, my god. See, like that. It just, it stopped my momentum. I couldn't move, so I was, oh my god. Oh my god, are you serious? And then there's that stupid attack. Okay, so that does kill me. Oh my god. Uh, fuck this, I'm going easy. Clearly, I'm not good enough to go on normal. One more whack at it with easy. Me with the stupid starfish and bon Mega Bomber Man. I'm glad you still have that memory. You tried. I certainly did. Um, if there's anything Gunstar Heroes has taught me, is sometimes you need to beat the game on easy before you can actually move up to normal. This looks hard as fuck. Again, I don't know if the game is hard or if I'm just bad. There's a lot of damage I could have just easily avoided. I just keep getting hit. Oh, I didn't want to jump. Why did I jump? I think the frustration setting in. I got a, ba a bomb down item, which makes you lay less bombs, but I only had one bomb anyway. Including never played a roguelike. I played a lot of roguelites, and I don't like any of them. I got that Shovel Knight one, the puzzle dungeon. It was a pocket dungeon, one of those. And it's like, why don't why don't Yacht Club want to make an actual Shovel Knight game again? I don't think Yacht Club's been doing anything ever since they finished up Shovel Knight for good. And it sucks. Like they forget what made them made them so memorable in the first place. And then they want us to pay. They want us to pay for their next fucking game. Don't they have Shovel Knight money? He's one step closer to the edge, he's about to break. That sounds like song lyrics, but you're not incorrect. Oh. Yeah, a mouse. Are they making a Mouse Legend of Zelda style game? Yeah. Mean of the Hollower, because for some reason uh, they needed us to pay for it too. I was about to say something I completely forgot what I was going to say. I want another Shovel Knight block breaking game. <laughs> to be fair, those games are great, they're just not what I want. I defeat all the enemies, including these dumbass spiders. Oh, do I hate them. They spend all their money putting Shovel Knight in other games. <laughs> I mean, Shovel Knight is prime for like making a sequel in an SNES style. That's what I really want. I want a Shovel Knight SNES sequel style sequel. Because you know, Bo Shovel Knight was like NES games, so they can move on to like Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games. That would be cool. Thank God, bomb jumping isn't annoying to do on here like it is in Metroid. I don't know which way the spider is moving. I want the Atari 2600 version. Uh, I remember when they announced Shovel Knight 64 as an April Fool's joke and it was a Commodore 64 game. That was pretty funny. They have a whole yacht club to pay for it. I mean at this point, they do. I have not seen a successful indie darling 
quite like Shovel Knight. That and Hat and Time are still like the games I'm going to point at for games that are very original without having to be complete knockoffs. Like Ukulele are my number nine. On that note, Shantae is just okay and Way Forward is a bit overrated. I wanted to like Shantae more than they do, but there's only like one really good game. And Bug Fables. No, Bug Fables, like, I still think it's great, but it's still a bit too much of a knockout for me, even though I think it's better than Thousand Year Door. Like, it does a lot of original stuff, but it still feels like Thousand Year Door. Like, Had Time and Shovel Knight feel like games that could have came out in their respective era and felt like they weren't ripping off something. Remember the big game Way Forward was making was Bakugan? <laughs> I think at that moment everyone realized that show, that way forward is mostly known for licensed tr trash. Bug Pables doesn't get nearly about the amount of love it deserved. It, it's true. You know what's funny is like whenever someone throws like criticism towards Bug Pables, they think it's not going to be worth it because it looks because the way it looks. Too many things show. Too many people think Bug Pables looks like actually terrible. And I mean I'm not going to say it look. Are you kidding? Do I go back to 4-1? Oh, I go back to 4-1. Fantastic. Why would you put Death Pits in this game? Why? Why would you put Death Pits in a game where HP is a thing? Why? I'm going to get more hearts. And I have some power-ups still. My goodness. Oh my god, and I took, I took damage anyway. Put on the Kiwi. All right, the next game, the next game I'm going to uh, play after this is Ki Super Kiwi 64. Uh, if anyone wants to look, looks into that, anyone wants to look into that, you can. Um, it's just a little cute collectathon that's like three hours long, from what I heard. You forgot about the falling thing, Ray. I just didn't think I was gonna fall like that. I have invincibility at least, which means I can spam this. Okay, they won't let me spam anymore. Game, please fucking work. Now I'm scared to blow myself up even though I'm invisible right now. I will say, Mario games seem to be the one that got this right, but uh, the invincibility star theme, why don't more games do that? This game's not doing it because uh, Farm has never had it, but why don't more games actually like do the invincibility theme thing? Because that and Sonic, Sonic and Mario do it, and it's so great to know when the thing's gonna run out. I've gone into my YouTube critical mode, as you can tell. One more generator, I think it's this one. Alright. Make a way back there. Is there really 12 worlds? My god. How can it get harder than this? What kind of bullshit awaits me in the next few worlds? At this point, I have to wonder if this is just an outlier world. Starfish world. Oh man, if everyone, if only everyone here played Mega Barman to know what you're talking about with the starfish thing. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Like, am I, am I bad or am I just making mistakes because I'm frustrated? We'll never know. I'm still surprised that blowing up the door doesn't cause more enemies to spawn like the old Bomberman games. Stay away from me. Okay, this is the last key I need. Alright. I am getting tired. 
Not just some of this shit either. So, how many of you here are those kinds of people who just don't want to switch on easy on a game because, like, your pride won't let you? Especially if you're bad at it. I see too many game. Too many people are like, they don't want to switch to easy even though they're too bad at the game to justify being on anything but easy. I will not switch to easy because the game insulted me. I bring out Luigi, <laughs> the deep cut Mario Mario Maker reference. Oh my God, these spiders suck. This world sucks. I hate this world. Who even likes creepy castle world anyway? I just want the tailored experience of the game. Yeah, same. I usually don't want to play on harder difficulties because of uh, I want to experience what the game, what the developers consider what's going to be normal. He said deep cut. Yeah, deep cut's still the worst of, of the Splatoon idols that we've gone so far. This music's kind of grating now. It's been grating. I feel like there's, there's, this, there's a spider that's been like kind of taking residence outside of our door that we kind of say hi to every morning. I feel like I need to, I need to, like, fucking blow it up now. Oh, what did you link? Am I going to regret clicking on this? Oh. <laughs> this is, this is a good image. Oh, poor boy, do you need help from mama? <laughs> that, uh... This message comes up going like, Hey, brother, do you need help in Mario Maker if you die too many times? Because Nintendo has been so in love with putting super guides in their games. And I don't... I think super guides are great, actually. I think a chance to help people who don't... Who don't have a big experience in games. Like, to make it easier for them. I think that's a good thing. People have this vitriolic hatred towards super guides though like just even putting an optional block that you can completely ignore in a Mario game that will pretty much beat the level for you is too much for people to handle completely optional won't ruin their play experience and it's just there for people who have a harder time with games it's a bit silly honestly I remember Mike Matei re he reviewed 3d land I remember watching that review in a long in, in the day when that was still a relevant game, and he docked at points for having the Super Tanuki that pretty much plays the game for you. And again, that's completely optional, and I think most people here will agree that more options in the game is better. If you can use Super Guide, then I beat my Super Mario 3D Land shirt. It means nothing when I wear it out in public. I deserve a shirt like that. Uh, by the way, 3D Land is better than 3D World. Because the levels are so much more tightly designed. Because it's a single player game. Um, I'm in the camp that adding multiplayer co-op to a game is usually going to make the game work overall worse. Uh, Kirby Star Allies is probably one of the best examples of the game that's gotten worse because of the multiplayer focus. And I don't think anyone here could say I'm wrong about that, unless they want to start a fight for no reason. I know there are people here who will do that. Don't know why, but some people like to watch the world burn. Alright, I have five hits on easy against Bompire. Let's see if I can do it this time. What are you trying to say, Big Whoop? Want to fight about it? Boxing glove emoji. <laughs> Never change. Okay, looks like he's slower 
No, I almost ran straight into that attack. <laughs> oh, that was a very good noise. I enjoyed that quite thoroughly. I just got those power-ups, that's not losing me again. I'm glad for that sound. Oof, don't get hit. so far. Is this boss a damage sponge? I'm guessing this boss is a damage sponge. Should I just stop whining at this point? Am I allowed to? Especially since I'm playing it easy now. bats. I need to start laying bombs where I think he's gonna be. I need to be more proactive in this. Foreman bosses piss me off so much sometimes. I mean, it's just naturally how the game is. Like, you have to deal with so much, like, I, don't, I want to say it's bullshit because of how the game's designed. Okay, I beat it. I don't even feel accomplished. Should I continue on the next world or should I take a break here? What do you guys think? Good job. Thank you. I feel nothing. They gave me three extra hits. Wow. Ambush? What is this? Look out. Oh, this is Evil Bomber from Barman Hero. A oh, Devil Bomber. Go to sleep. You need it. I definitely need sleep. Yeah, I, I think this guy's... This guy was from the Game Boy Barman games, and he got referenced in Barman Hero for no... Like, it's funny, he got reference to Barman Hero when Barman, the, the Barman Game Boy game that he was in didn't come out into America. Oh, that attack sucks. He does the totally fun thing where bosses can go off screen and be invincible and you gotta wait for him. That's gonna be a nightmare normal. Oh, what happened? Okay, are his hands the hitboxes or is all his hands the hitboxes? Okay. I wonder if this is just the final boss here. Because those four bombers are, are the four bosses I've been so far are the only bosses that are in that Virtual Boy Bomberman game. Oh fuck. This is kind of cool because it calls back to older Game Boy games where bosses like this happened. I can't, I can't lie and say I'm not smiling about this a bit. I think it's 12 levels, not 12 worlds. I was thinking that too. It has to be that way. When the fuck are these vulnerable? Okay, those, those hitboxes for that, that laser is extremely small, which is nice. He's like the awful King of Cards final boss. Yeah, it kind of is. The gym? The gym on the head or the gym on the chest? That's not doing anything. 
I, oh, I had to jump up there. I need to wait till I am not getting attacked. I don't know if those hands are actually like, gonna hurt me or not. I'm just like completely avoiding them just in case, but maybe I'm just worried over nothing. I just blew myself up, great. Oh, he laughs every time you hit, get hurt too. I'm gonna lose this on easy. What a monster. <laughs> that is true. Oh, okay, so he's, not, he's gonna keep shooting that. Am I gonna start back at him? Okay. I need to beat this tonight. I need to get this over with. It's funny when the bosses cause something that hurts them. I need my- I'd rather be playing Fantasy Zone shirt on right now. Great. So are those hands going to be hitboxes? I need to... That one was, but of course it was. This game hasn't really made me like jump on the bombs like this for a boss, so I wasn't prepared for that at all. Okay, so the, bomb, the hitting the hatch just gives you a gold card. Oh, looks like it's a, like it's a little weaker to attack too, so it's nice. Like a Super Mario World and Mega Man X final boss at the same time. Yeah, I wonder if that if the developer was kind of going for that. All right, that's a good face. In fact, you really need a ball made looking. Yeah, it's making me think of like Game Boy Color bosses I've fought in past games for other games. Barman's eyes look too close together right there. Alright, what other bullshit am I going to have to ponder? Just came back and saw there was a whole new boss. You came back right when I beat the game, so fantastic. The end. Alright. Thanks for playing. Nice. Alright, so yeah, it's just 12 levels, not 12 worlds. Okay, cool. Boss rush unlocked. Yay. Boo his level. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute in it's a cute ending. I know like half the people here, so that's cool. Oh, I love those people. Uh if that pulsey person ever watches, I'm sorry if I bash your game. I love this game a lot, I'm just bad at it. Yes, I know Boss Rush is unlocked. I'm not doing it. Oh god, I am not doing that. Okay, so they just have to press the button here. Alright, cool. Uh, before we end... Let's see, there's other characters to play as. Black Bomber is the same exact as White Bomber. Uh, Max is a character from Barman Max games. So let's check him out for a little bit. Let's check out some of the other other characters. 
So he has something called a flash step, which I assume, yeah, you press. Uh, this seems a little broken. I can't go through walls, all right. I'm sure this is something that is used, uh, you gotta be really careful with. So many characters, so that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. I love seeing, I love when the series has stuff like this. What does he look like when he dies? Is this the same as White Bomber? Yeah, just about. Alright, let's try the next character. Pretty Bomber. Heart type bomb, hover. Okay, so she can hover. She has a heart type bomb. So we're gonna see gravity on the screen. I know, right? Alright, so she just has the hover ability. I don't know what these heart type bombs do. Okay, I think they're just aesthetic. And look, I got heart type bombs again. Oh! Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that is... That is a... Uh, I don't want that. Okay, so this is a reference to Super Man 2. Pretty Bomber had these hearts that, like, they kind of randomly move across the field. I always thought they homed in on you, but maybe they're just random. So, that explains that. Yeah, I see uh, the stats right there. Alright, Kotetsu. That is a... That is a uh, character who kind of appears... There's like a somewhat mascot for... Barman games are like side characters. So he has a katana. I can't. Okay. Oh, there's a little refill bar over there. It's like a MOBA. And the katana is not as strong as bombs, which I guess makes sense. He only has one bomb though, which kind of sucks. Can I katana it? Nope. So katana really is just for enemies, and it's kind of weak. Alright, last character. It is Honey. So Honey and Kotet Honey and Kotetsu are friends, kind of partners in crimes. Honey has a revolver, so I assume she just shoots bullets. You can see them in a lot of the Barman commercials. She has the world's shortest range revolver. It is also way weaker than bombs. And she only has one fire, so her bombs aren't going to be that useful either. So that's fun. Actually, I don't know how Kotetsu is going to be able to attack the final boss, considering that he only has a he 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 can only lay one bomb. Maybe there's something that he does that I don't know about. Okay, that's enough. For Barman Tower. I really enjoyed this game. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to come back to it, but I'm glad there was an ending to kind of, it's, it, made me, it, strive, it made me strive to do something. This is a great game. If you want to try it out yourself, you can just Google Barman Tower. It's on that card website. Well worth the try. Very good. So I guess that's the end of the stream, guys. Thanks a lot for coming. I appreciate you all here. Uh, and uh, of course, we're going to, uh, send this game off with. Start! Bomb G jump! <laughs>